right now <clears throat> is there a tangent is there a tangent yes there is one okay there is a tangent a b is a tangent so let's write it down a tangent below that please tangent done where is the point of contact a the point of contact is a please now radius is o a there is also radius o c right you must not concentrate at that point please we are looking at angle between radius and tangent we know is 90 at the point of contact so let's just go a bit close and then see the angle there is 90 so let's write please watch the screen that complete angle there is 90 that whole thing is 90 okay that much we we got now we need to find all the missing angles even though there are no letters i want you to find those missing angles please uh, by, by the way ocb is a straight line <clears throat> now we do not have any isosceles triangles in this in this case but let's look at that that's the center of the circle that's a radius this is also radius so do you agree if i say those two lines are equal in length those two lines are equal in length now is there a way you can find this angle well we are given only one angle please called 115 we need to find all the missing angles now if that's a 115 115 can you find that angle there please come on that's a straight angle right it's a straight line the angle on a straight line we all know okay it's 180 if that's a 180 if this is 115 how much will that be should be roughly i, I think maybe uh, 65 65 plus 5 70 70 plus 10 80 and one yes that's a 65 so let's write there it's a 65 degrees the inside angle there now isosceles triangle you must be smiling because we got that as 65 we can find this much tell me what is that much there only that much please well we know full angle is 90 that's a 65 that's a 65 base angles isosceles triangle base angles are equal now can you find that angle please angle at the center angle made by the green cord at the center it's a triangle we know two angles you got to find the third angle please right some of the three angles in a triangle should be come on 180 don't say 360 please now 65 65 130 that angle should be a 50 okay that's a 50 degrees please so we got three angles now let's go and see is there a way we can find the remaining two angles come on think we are in a triangle called OAB. That's a OAB. It's a right angled triangle. One angle is 90. Ignore the green line, please, right? Now, in this big triangle, one angle is 50. The angle between radius and tangent is 90. What do you think of this angle? Come on, do not waste much time. That's a 40, right? It's a 50 and a 40, 90 plus 90, 180. That's how you got to find. And then, of course, we can fill these blanks now, whatever they wanted. AOC. Let's go and see what is AOC. Start at O, uh, sorry, A, travel to O, come to C. Angle forms at the center letter, that's a 50. Do not mistake these ones, please. AOC, we got 50, and I know you will fill the rest of them. Okay, that's question number one. Now, you have seen how I started the sum. There's only one information given to me called 115. 115. Basically, we went and found everything there. 
We started at 115 and said it's a straight angle. We found inside angle. Then we applied isosceles triangle base angles rule. So do not look at what they asked you to find. Start from the information that you know. In that sum, we, we actually knew nothing apart from just 115. Of course, we know angle between radius and tangent is 90. See, the first rule comes. It plays a very important role. Now, sec second sum on the same page, please. Right. Second one is on the screen now. It says, well, we got, we got an external point. I'm not going to study what they asked us to find. Well, 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 it says find all the missing angles. We don't care right now. Uh, C is the external point. Watch there, please. C is the external point. How many tangents can you draw from an external point? We learned it. Come on. We learned in rule two. We said two tangents can be drawn. Exactly two. Watch there. CD is a tangent. That's the point of contact. B is also the point of contact. Now, so two tangents are drawn. The rule says these two tangents should be equal in length. I want you to watch carefully, please. We are not taking the complete tangent into account up to the point of contact only. So BC should be equal to DC. Right? Done. Now, that's all we, we know here. A radius is there. Let's just go and see. Radius is there. Right? That's radius. Right? That is radius and I have a point of contact. B is the point.